so really with Pre2, what we're focusing on is it's an evolutionary product for the Premium family. So we've been working the last 18 months, and really what we looked at with Pre2, the, the main feature we changed, we put Gorilla Glass in the front, so it's very durable, you can scratch it with keys, partly because I keep it in my pocket all the time, and sort of you want to have a very durable device. We've also gone through and increased the camera up to five megapixels, and we kept that same one second capture. So that was very important for us, that I can very quickly go bring the camera up, and whether I'm doing the camera or the camcorder, a lot of times, just keep taking pictures. Not have to wait for anything to come through, but actually is trying to capture that image for you. And we use software behind the scenes to do the extended up field. We actually have the white balance, we do color saturation, really give you a great image in the background, but not having you wait every time for the picture. We've also gone through an under the hood, but a one gigahertz processor on here. And you sort of see I've got a ton of apps open on here right now. The device is really designed, it just flies through it all. And a lot of what we wanted that for is bringing WebOS 2.0 to the stage. So WebOS 2.0 is the largest update we've done. We've been, it's been about, I think we're on the 13th update over the air since we launched the original 3. But with WebOS 2.0, we focused on a couple key features. One of them is multitasking. So we've had great multitasking. I mean, you can see all the apps you're going through in the, back, in, the, in the back of the screen. If you're going through and playing a game or having things set up, you just swipe and it stops at mid the game as you're going through it. You bring it back, hit play again. Everything's in place that I can jump between app to app. When you guys be rolling at WebOS 2.0 to original so all, the, all the devices get it. So, okay, so and I know the original pre only has the 500 gigahertz processor. Well, how will that run on the 500 gigahertz? We, we designed it to work on all of them, both the original pre and also all the Pixies. Okay. And the goal of it really is it's how are the process, when the processor goes really to have all the pieces. And with the multitask, we really added in the what we were calling stacks. So you always had your cards. We now came through a concept called stacks, so I can go through, in this case I have open table, if I want to see the review, it will actually open a review, open a new browser page, give me the review so I can actually see the information on it. See how good my reception is here. Bring the review up. It keeps it in the same stack that I also have Google Maps in, so I can see where, from where I am right now to where it's where the restaurant is. So I can have everything here. Go do something else on the phone. Come back to it. So later on, everything is in the same place. And really trying to organize all those cards you have open. We're trying to. The other key thing we looked at is we had a concept called universal search on the original WebOS. That let you both search on the device and search on the web very easily. You don't have to open a browser. You go to Google or Yahoo, it just jumped over to it. We really went through and we expanded a lot of things you could do with it on WebOS 2.0 and we renamed it Just Type. And really that's what it does. So you open the keyboard up and I'll just look for the digital weather. I'll just start typing. And what it'll go through is it'll search for any apps on the device that I might have or apps in the app catalog I want to download. It'll bring you up Google, allow you to go through and have it suggest so you can, without jumping out to Google, I can see what the Google suggestions are. And does it search contacts too? So it'll search contacts, search. yeah. Okay. So, it, so, and that's the great one. I don't use the contacts app. I just type people's names in. It'll bring yeah. up all okay. the synergized contacts in. And you, all, you can also do a global address list. So if you want to go out to your Exchange server, it works. One of the interesting things we did, we always could go to Google Maps or Wikipedia and you can have these plugins. So we made it so developers can add new ones in anytime they want. Or we hooked in something called Open Search, which is a standard on web pages. ESPN or Wall Street Journal will have it. When you hit a web page that has the Open Search on in the browser, we'll have a notification pop up and you can add it to this list. So you can customize based on where you're browsing, you can actually have new search categories for it. And the last thing we did with it was really focusing on really what Palm was good at. It's pen to paper and getting into electronics. So if I start talk, talking weather, I could say, okay, do I want to make an SMS? Do I want to make a message? If I got a phone number in, I could just make a contact from it. If I got Facebook on here, I'd say, okay, just set that to my Facebook status. It'll open Facebook, drop it into my um, status update, and I just hit update, make that my status. Oh, so, okay, so you can yeah. use the make just it so, type. Yeah, just, just type, type to do anything. Okay, just yeah. type to make an email, just type. So you can capture what you're trying to do. So if somebody gives you a phone number or an address, just type it in and then jump to the 
application you want for it. Does that work the same way with them with Twitter as well? Yes. Yeah, so just you type put, your message and then scroll yeah, to Twitter. Yes. Yeah, so okay. actually, you have a Twitter app, and the Twitter whatever app it is can plug into our universal search genre that just type and just add it into it. Okay. And we opened it up in the SDK, so anybody that wants something on here can can go through and add this in place. Yeah. So really, some some key things just make it really simple to go through, work between the applications, make it really fast as you're going through it. Really, definitely a very speedy. It's the fastest Kong device we ever come out with, and have the just type to make the keyboard. Just just think about what you want to do and do it. You don't have to go to an app. You don't have to think where you're going. Is there any reason you guys decided not to mess with the hardware at all, like the, the actual physical form factor, the well, design? Well, part of it is was this was an evolutionary piece. So we've always we have multiple product lines, yeah. and I think John's been alluding to it a lot recently that. Going through and changing the business cards over from Palm to HP caused a little bit of a churn. So really what we did is, I've been working on Print 2 for a while, so it was evolution went through. We have new devices coming out next year, both tablets and also other smartphones. We definitely have a great lineup coming. Will they be sticking with the same form factor? Or? So, so again, we have actually have a variety of form factors, a variety of products coming. So really this was the, the product we wanted. Very small, you fit in your pocket, hold in your hand, has a good slider. We thought it was a great product, but we also have other, other form factors we want to bring the market as well, and we're very looking forward to talking to people about them, just not today. So.